We love to test out different tools and household items to help you get the most bang for your buck. This week, we're looking at a portable carbon monoxide detector and a set of LED garage lights. Hey guys, today we're gonna test a carbon monoxide detector, something you can carry around, a mini one. All my healthy home friends have been telling me this is something that I actually need to have in my collection, so let's test it out. Now this one here didn't come pre-charged. You can take a look here and see. It's gonna give us our humidity, it's gonna give us our temperature, and the level of carbon monoxide that we see outside. So the only way I can think of testing this thing is let's go over next to a car, because that's always gonna kick out a bunch of carbon monoxide, and let's test it. All right, guys, let's see how this thing goes. If I go down here by the exhaust. Hmm, I'm not believing that works. All right, guys, I don't think this thing works because if I can put it in front of my car exhaust and there's no carbon monoxide, I'm not gonna trust it. Make sure you get the right one. This one to me, zero stars. Hey guys, in today's Let's Test It, I went on Amazon and bought some of those garage or basement light bulbs. Let me show you a little bit what these are. I don't know if you've ever seen them before. These are these multi-panel lights that really fold out. And so you can put light all over a room. But the cool thing is, is they run off of a regular light bulb socket. So now we can put all this light around everywhere and they look really cool. Now I love that we're testing all these things, but I wanna warn you, some of these lights can get really dangerous. This one here has been burning out and the wiring is starting to smoke on the inside. Now this is about four months old. Nothing's hit it. We've got this thing all burning up. And so this one here is starting to become a fire hazard. So be very careful with any of these products you're buying that are inexpensive, because sometimes they're not gonna last. And the last thing I wanna do is see a fire happen on one of these, because that could be a really bad deal. Now there's lots of different type of light bulbs. Of course, we've seen our traditional LED bulbs here that you see in any store. This is gonna replace it. Let's go see what it does on the lumens. Now this one here is really cool that we just picked up. It's got a warm feature to it, which, you know, there's color temperatures. So there's this Kelvin, what they call Kelvin in the light world. And so that's depending if you want that bright refrigerator light that is maybe 5,000 Kelvin or more like an old incandescent bulb. If you're that kind of fan, you wanna get down in that 3,500 or less as far as Kelvin. So look at your light color temperature. That's gonna be, depend if it's bright or if it's that warm candlelit color that you're looking for. Let's throw this up there. Swapping out a bulb, how hard can it be? Let's see what it does as far as make a difference in my garage. All right, you can see how much light this just typical LED bulb is putting out. Let me put this in here. What I like about these is I can tune these and I'll show you here once this lights up. This puts out a ton of light. This is gonna be a game changer in any garage or basement or any place like that where you got a, just a regular light socket that you wanna put a bulb in. So I'm gonna give this one four stars. That's really solid. We'll see how it holds up long-term, but you know something? I'm impressed. 